Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, December 17th, 2014 by Gaia I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is my intuition guides me to my truth. And we are finishing up Sagittarius. We're in the last few days of Sagittarius. We have Mercury that shifted out of Sagittarius and into Capricorn. And we have the moon today moving into Scorpio. It's going to move through Scorpio and it's going to move into Sagittarius and be the dark of the moon. So we're all having all these things that are kind of turning us. The Sagittarius is so out there. This is all kind of turning us within so we can do our inner work. We're heading towards the solstice. solstice. We're heading towards the shortest day of the year. So, you know, with the Scorpio moon, Saturn in the last degree of Scorpio, we may have ourselves kind of falling into the darkness of ourselves. We still have the Sagittarius out here that's like the light and the joy and the possibilities, but you may find yourself turning in to your deepest, darkest places. And I think I think it's actually a beautiful thing. With Saturn at this last degree of Scorpio, it's important to get in touch with those deepest, darkest places and shine the light on them. I like to say that, you know, your darkness is just your light with a smudge on it. There's nothing to be afraid of of it. Um, but I'm actually going to dive into one of my cards earlier. I pulled this card. <clears throat> I pulled the guilt card. I pulled another card, too, which I'll bring at the end. But, you know, when we focus on the past, when we focus on what went wrong, when you focus on those things that you consider dark about yourself, often guilt comes up and shame comes up. And we're not focusing on, you know, what good has come. I do believe that there's a silver lining in every cloud. I'm a Sagittarius, but I do believe in that. You have to remember the light, even in the darkness. You have to remember the good that's come, even from those things, and let go of the guilt. When you're focused on guilt, when you're focused on these past bad things, then, you know, you're not in the present. You're not in the now. You're in the then. So if stuff like this is coming up for you, process it. Be willing to go through it. Be willing to love yourself through it. And then hold on to the space of the light. Hold on to the space of your truth. Hold on to the space of your now. What is right now? That was then. Right now is the present. It is the gift. Um, so we also have the moon, moon and Scorpio, connecting to Mercury, newly in Capricorn. And so that, that can be, you know, that guilt, but it also can be, okay, how can I move practically forward? You know, Mercury in Capricorn can be very practical. That was that. How do we move forward? with this new information from that place. We also have the moon connecting to Neptune, and that is your intuition. And so, you know, I also think you know, Neptune is this place of having faith. You have to have faith and trust that everything has happened for a reason, and everything is always happening for your highest good. Do you believe that? Do you have faith in that? So hold on to that place of faith. I also want to mention, anytime the moon connects with Neptune, it can bring interestingness into your dreams. So, you know, if, if there are things that you aren't able to let go of, it's like, I can't find the good, I can't find the light in it, ask your intuition. Okay, show me. Show me in my dreams. Bring to my attention some good that's come to this. And let the universe work in your behalf. So, that is it for the Astro today. You know, be strong and stay in the place of possibilities. If you find yourself in any of those dark places, you know, guilt or anything, you know, any vibration that kind of vibrates with that, find the possibilities. Be the eagle. You know, the eagle is one of the animals of Scorpio. There's the, the scorpion, there is the eagle, and there's the phoenix that believes in the transformation. The eagle sees things on high. It sees all the possibilities. It sees all that is. So come, view yourself from a higher perspective. That's very Sagittarius. So you can see the whole picture. And so you can understand all the amazing possibilities. And hold space. We're still in Sagittarius. So hold space for infinite possibilities. That is all for today. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.